Hi everyone, Alex with Him It Up. It's almost 12, so Anna is asleep, so I'm gonna keep it quiet. So this year, I asked Santa to bring me Autodesk fixing one-line isometrics. That hasn't happened yet, but I'm gonna give you a little Christmas gift. Don't get too excited, but I'm gonna show you how to hide pipes behind in one-line isometrics. Temporary fix, but I think it'll help you a lot. So, I'm gonna give you an example of a one-line isometric, and then we're gonna hide those pipes behind using a marking pipe tag. Again, don't get too excited, it's just a temporary fix. I'm gonna show you how to create that masking pipe tag, and then I'm gonna give you a couple of tips and tricks. See you in Revit. Okay, so what I have here is a simple natural gas isometric. It's at a, what's the scale here? An eighth of an inch. And what I wanna show you is Let's, uh, you know, let me get out of my, my view one second. And I'm going to go to one of my tags. I'm going to do a drafting line, DL for shortcut. And I'm going to type 3 30 seconds of an inch. And this is pretty standard, you know, the minimum size for your text. If you can see, it's pretty close to my H. Actually, it should be exactly the, the size of an H or a T or a 1 or any top to bottom measurement in a letter for, for our text. So coincidentally, I have found that in an eighth of an inch isometric, the size of the break that I would like in a pipe, in this case, this pipe is in front of this one, but let's assume for just for a second that this pipe were to be behind this one here. The break that I would like in this pipe is pretty much that size. Another way of looking at it is we could rotate this it's 60 degrees and then you know this is still my line I don't know if you can still see it hopefully you can you know but you know what let me take this uh, template off so you can see it a little better there you go none and now this instead of shaded I'm gonna have it as hidden line so this should be way better so let me go out to my sheet and now this is way better See, so what I want to do eventually is to cut the pipe behind, which is this pipe, and keep displaying this pipe, right? So essentially, uh, let me change this now to medium so you can actually see just the lines. So what I would do in my AutoCAD MEP years would be to keep the pipe in front, let's say it's this one, and then the pipe behind, to break it, you would do one wipeout here and another wipeout here, which is now equivalent to masking, a yeah, masking region. And if you're in a plan view, that's no problem. You know, you can you can always come here and go region, masking region. So you want to do a little circle here, and then you go like that, and then you're done, right? And then this begs the question: Well, just use your wipeout, right? The same way you have been doing, or your whatever the the masking region here in Revit. The problem is that whether you want to do it in your sheet, which is obviously not recommended. We, we don't want to do things in paper space. We want to do things in the model. So whenever we move things around, it moves with the model, right? But, you know, you don't have it available here in, in paper space. And even if you go to model space, this type of orientation, even if your view is locked, you're not able to do it. You see how it's grayed out? And that's the problem. Otherwise, I would just create a little masking region on top, on the bottom, and that's it. Or well, in this case, it would be left and right. But what I want to try to attempt here is to create a tag, a pipe tag, that I can actually attach to the pipe and break it. Otherwise, we'll have to recur again to the, to the wipeout in the meantime until Autodesk fixes this display setting. So there's going to be a little back and forth, a lot of uh, trial and error in this tutorial. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to find your isometric. You want to set your visual style to inline so you can clearly see the pipe behind and also your detail level, then eventually we're gonna set it to medium to see the single line. But for now, let's keep it like that so we know that we want to hide the vertical pipe, right? And we want to keep the horizontal pipe in front. So let's start creating our pipe tag. First thing you do, you come here to File, New, New Family. We go under Annotations, Generic Annotation. And then we're gonna get rid of this generic text here. And very important, and we saw this on the previous video, is 
you know, here under family category and parameters, we need to set this to pipe type. Why? Because if you want, if you wanted to add a, a label now, let's say I want to add a label, see if I don't have anything useful to attach to that label, you know, no, no parameters. So in order to have parameters or properties of a pipe, you have to make this a pipe tag. So we navigate down to pipe tag and we need to make sure we set this as rotate with component so that it aligns with our pipe. We also saw that on a previous video. And now we're ready to go. Hi everyone. Today I'm really excited about Bim It Up because I'm launching my own Patreon page. What I love about Patreon is that this is a thing that is completely voluntary and you can cancel at any time. So I came up with the following. We have our Bim It Up um, here, which uh, not only helps you support the, the content that you already love, but um, it has some nice perks like ad free videos. You have early notifications to live webinar. You get patron only posts and messages. So this is something I didn't know about. It. It's something called Discourse. And what that allowed me to do was to create a little share. And then we can exchange messages. And, you know, we can build a small but strong community to share best practices, ask questions, you know, tips and tricks. So I'm really excited about that. In addition to that, you get access to selected AutoCAD MEP MV parts, which are multi-view parts with connectors. I have a massive library with thousands and thousands of parts. You know, it has compressors, pumps, vacuum pumps, fire protection equipment, valves and accessories, you name it. It's huge. And you'll be able to download those parts or request those parts for the download and be able to use them in your projects. And in addition to that, you get selected AutoCAD MEP routing preferences. All those threaded, groove and threaded, mechanical joint, flange, all those you'll be able to download and use them in your own projects. Then we have our Bim It Up Pro. Bim It Up Pro includes all the benefits that Bim It Up Pal has. And in addition to that, you get access to Revit pipe types. All those Revit pipe types that we've been talking about, they will be available for you to download and use in your own projects. In addition to that, you get exclusive voting power on upcoming videos. And if you want some tips on video topics, you can visit vimitup.com and there you'll find hundreds of different video topics. So at the end of the week, I'll count all the votes and then decide which video topic we're, we're gonna cover here. You will also get access to all MP4 videos so you can download them and take them on the go. Jump in on a plane, no problem. No Wi-Fi on the subway, no problem. You have your videos there. And also you get guaranteed admission to all live webinars. We still have that fire pump room in Revit webinar. We're trying to coordinate, guys, so let's let's make it happen. Uh, I know it has been hard to coordinate during the holidays, and then at the beginning of January, it's gonna be a little tight because of the projects that we have to catch up, but let's make it happen in January. So I'm gonna be posting probably today or tomorrow some tentative dates for people to choose from, and then we'll make it happen. Let's not let it pass January, please. So, and then finally, we have our Bim It Up Ninja tier. Bim It Up Ninja will include everything that Bim It Up Pro has. And in addition to that, you'll get access to descriptive PDFs, which outline step-by-step -step the creation of families and other things that we cover here in the channel. You also get some exclusive access to selected Alex notes. And what those are, notes that I've been compiling over the years, and they're gonna be downloadable in PDF format. And in addition to that, you get 50% discount on all premium Alex notes which include BIM and MEP topics that I've compiled over the 15 years of experience that I have and, you know, sharing best practices with peers. So I'm going to let you take a peek at those notes soon in one of my future videos. You also get to live chat during live webinars. Everybody will have the option to ask questions at the end, but, you know, you get the option if you're a BIM It Up Ninja to live chat, you know, send me a question in real time while we're doing our live webinar. And then finally, you get access to selected Revit families. So all those pipe tags that we've been creating and any future families that we will create, uh, you'll be able to download them uh, over Patreon. And if you really can't afford any of this, I don't want money to be the reason why you don't learn. So I'll keep posting here for free on YouTube uh, every once in a while. So thank you very much for the support and let's keep learning. So let's test a little bit here our masking region. So I'm gonna create a masking region. I'm gonna make a I'm gonna put it about here, just eyeballing it. And I'm gonna make it three, three seconds of an inch. And I'm a little bit too close to this vertical line, so I'm gonna take it left just a little bit. 
and I'm gonna do just one for now. Let's save our tag as a family. This one's gonna be a JS tag, pipe tag, um, hide, pipe, behind. And now let's load it into our project. And let me tag my pipe. I noticed that it wants to be tangent to the pipe. So you would have to place it here and then move it up a little bit. I noticed that it's not hiding my pipe. And the reason why it's not hiding my pipe is probably because, see here my visual style, I have it as wireframe. So you should have this as hidden line. And then now it is hiding the pipe behind, right? So you could do, now we can do another one, right? We can uh, probably mirror this one. Let's mirror it using this one. And let's load it to the project again. Actually, we need to save first. And let's uh, reload it into a project. See? So that would be one side of the pipe. Remember, I'm in a plan view. But what we want to do is, you know, this, this pipe here is going to have to be cut. It could be one masking region here and another masking region here, right? Now, I found that it is better instead of having uh, circles, it is better to have ellipses, you know, very thin ellipses. And that way, because what, what could happen, and I'm going to show you here. Let's, let's change this to medium. And let me try to tag my pipe. Well, this one's huge. So we know that this is too big. All right. This will be too big. And, and this is actually a very small isometric. You know, notice this is one eighth of an inch. Typically, you would have this at least at a quarter inch. So it looks a little better. All right. So this is a problem. The, the closer I get to completely hide the pipe that I want to hide, which is this one, with the circle, I start hiding this other pipe. See, so that's why it's better to have some kind of ellipse or even a very, very thin rectangle. And just to help you out with some dimensions, I found that this ellipsis should have on the major axis a distance of about 1 32nd of an inch. And then on the minor axis, a distance of about 1 128th of an inch. So a total of 1 16 and 1 64. So make sure you save it and you load it into your project. And then it's going to look something like that. See, so in isometric, it would be, let me do TG for tagging. Yeah, you place it wherever you want first. I would actually like to place it very far away. And then you get it close to the intersection. Obviously this is useful not in two line display. This is useful in single line display so you can hide that pipe. And you wanna put that, you know, at the intersection right there, you know, kind of eyeball it and it will be hiding this. And obviously you don't, you don't wanna see this ellipses here. So let's get rid of them. Okay, get ready family. And the way you do that is you come here and then you do edit sketch and you make sure that this geometry, both this and this are set to invisible lines. And then you finish sketching. We load into a project, see how they disappear in the family. There you go. So now we're hiding that pipe behind. And obviously if you want to do the other one, then you would align to the vertical pipe. And bring here, obviously. We need to get rid of the other one. So it is not perfect, but it's a temporary solution. And obviously the, the closer you get those two ellipses to each other, the smaller this pipe is. But at the end of the day, you know, you're printing this at a, such a scale that you won't notice. Uh, and again, this is not the most practical or elegant solution because you're gonna have to be doing this all over the place. And that's not what we wanna do. But what we want to do is to have Autodesk fixing this so that we are all a little happier. So make sure you vote. I want to remind you that I'm going to have this pipe tag available for my patrons to download as well. And I almost forgot, if you become a Bimidov Ninja, you get this really nice magnet that you can put in your fridge to brag about your privileges. And if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you like it down there. Subscribe to the channel, hit that bell so you get notified. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.